Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time, we got Magus in our party and our epoch got wings, so now we can fly. But the main goal that we have right now that our party keeps telling us is, hey, go to the end of time. There might be a way to restore lost time and maybe even restore lost lives, like Chrono's life. So we can go ahead and land here and disembark and uh, talk to people, like Gaspar, the Guru of Time. The radical haircut, yeah, it's so 90s. Radical, man. Dutical. <laughs> oh, a song? Memories of Chrono. This is so sad. So I've said it before that whenever I was a kid, I had no idea how to revive Chrono. I kind of knew that it was possible because of the way that they kept on talking about it, but I just didn't know how to. It wasn't until I got, you know, the new game plus and a Chrono Trigger strategy guide that I really learned how to. Oh, yeah. You have anything else to say? Oh, I feel, uh, Oh. Again, with the mortal coil. Yeah. Woolsey seems to have been, um, obsessed with the mortal coil. <laughs> Big yawn here. Yeah, she's bored. Hey there, Robo. Oh. Um, actually, yeah. He's so happy! He's like a little doggy. He's so happy. I love, um, I love Robo. Yeah, so now let's uh, see what else these guys have to say. Oh, I mean, Luca did know him best. She was his childhood friend. But she's still kind of a bitch, but oh well. Oh, <laughs> What do you have to say about it, Magus? Wow. Oh. Um, actually, yeah. Let's go ahead and change up these party members yet again. Yeah, we certainly do with Magus on our side. So let's go ahead and throw him in. Uh, we'll keep Robo around for a little bit and uh, bring in Luca as well. Okay, so let's just get on out of here. Oh, what is it? What's going on? What? An egg? The Chrono Trigger. It's pure potential. Powerful effect on time. Oh! Ask the person who made your epic, The Wings of Time, how to hatch the Chrono Trigger, because it represents a possibility, and it may or may not hatch. But it will give you the potential to bring Chrono back. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you guys are smart ones, aren't you? <laughs> okay, and we get the mighty Chrono Trigger! Very nice. Okay, so um, before we go and ask, um, you know, Balthazar how to hatch the stupid- Shut up! How to hatch the thing- Let's go over here and talk to Specchio. Now that we are in our 30s, Specchio has yet another form. Um, as far as fighting him is concerned, make sure that you have some, uh, make sure that you have Magus along with you, Robo for healing purposes. Uh, let's go ahead and give, let's see what I want. Uh, yeah, let's take up this. We'll give you the dash ring for some extra speed. Uh, where is it? There we go. And Luca, you have the magic ring for extra magical power. That is fine by me. Uh, make sure you have some males. Uh, white males, fine. Black male, rainbow helmets, mermaid caps. Uh, whatever it is that you need in order to fight Specchio, because you want your magic resistance to be very high, speed to be high, everything to be as high as possible. The amulet we don't really need right now, so we'll give you the speed belt. There we are. And now let's go ahead and go after Specchio, because again, Specchio's optional, but he's really, really, really hard. 
<laughs> He's talking about Magus here. Yeah, he is our true Shadow Magic user. Okay. Okay, so let's do this. Magus, um, go ahead and just... We're gonna have him just cast Ice 2 over and over and over again. Um, the three elemental spells... Whoa! Deal roughly the same amount of damage um, to him, but I feel like the Ice 2 spell is just a quicker cast, so that's what he's gonna be doing. Robo, since I gave him all those magic tabs, his multi-targeting healing ability is really nice, dealing about 350, so that's fantastic. Um, so he's gonna be healing pretty much every single turn, and Luca is gonna be using her new Mega Bomb skill. Whoa, look at that damage from the Mega Bomb. So, so nice. There seems to be some sort of debate amongst Chrono Trigger fans as far as who the better girl is. Is it Luca or is it Marl? And a lot of people just go ahead and assume that it's Marl because, you know, she's your healer, she's cute, she's the princess, she is haste. But I think as you have seen in this Let's Play, it's definitely Luca. Um, Luca has massively more powerful um, magical attacks she has access to Hypno Wave for putting a lot of bosses to sleep. Like, it is surprisingly effective against bosses. Her dual techs seem to be much more useful, much more powerful as well. Um, she gets specialized equipment from her father, which not only reduces fire based damage, which is the most common element among um, enemies, but it also increases her speed. So yeah, Luca is just fan freaking tastic as far as I'm concerned. She is one of my favorite party members. As a kid, though, I liked Marl too because I always felt, you know, she's the healer. And I thought that Luca was just kind of useless, but yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Double V bomb? I think it's just supposed to be double bomb. And that V is like a typo or something. Oh, what do we have? Hey, the Specchio Healthy Choice Set. One mag Magic Tab and five full ethers. Great. Okay, so anyway, that's it for Specchio. Get out the... Urgh! It's so difficult for me to do the simplest of things. It really is. Okay. Heal up. And let's be on our way. So the Guru of Time said that we need to um, talk to the person who created the epic. And he is in the future at the Keeper's Dome. So let's just go there. Okay, and as you can see, we can fly all over the place, but... We land exactly where we need to be over here, so let's head on inside. And I don't think that Balthazar is around anymore. I think that just his new is around. If you recall, we saw Balthazar back when we first came through here, but then he implanted his memories into the new. Oh, here we get a magic tab. Awesome. That must have just appeared there. Oh well. Oh, on Death Peak you'll find the power to restore life. But the deceased must be important at the space-time continuum, and you must have a clone identical to that person. Only then can the Chrono Trigger work its magic. Then he says, hey, do you need a clone? Nolstein Beckler could whip you up in a wink of an eye. Ah. So then he even tells you how to get the clone. But stupid me, whenever I played this game, I had no clue who Nolstein Beckler was. I had no clue where he where it could possibly be because I was scared. Like, I, I, I still am. I'm kind of scared of, like, scary movies, scary things houses of horror so as a kid i never went in to the house of horror um in the millennial fair and he was like hey you know he he is a lab so i thought oh a lab that must be in the future somewhere so i would try to fly all over the place around the future and look for this lab and i couldn't find it i would go over here to this island it's not there um, I would go over here to this island and look there and be like, oh, well, it's not here either. 
and I had no idea where to find it because I was a stupid freaking kid. But, uh, yeah. So I eventually just kind of thought, oh, if I just keep on exploring all over the place, I'll eventually find this hidden laboratory with this hidden magician. I just need to find it. So I would fly around, I would continually look, but it never occurred to me to check out the Millennial Fair. Yeah. Oh, by the way, if you press select, you can look at the world map, and there's a lot of different things to see and do and explore in all the various time periods right now. But, um... Yeah, we're gonna do what we're supposed to do and what I should have done all those years ago. Here we are over uh, Medina Village, and even here you can look if you press the select button. There is a lot more to the world um, that we have yet to explore. Two more unexplored islands that we can go to, but we're gonna hold off on those for right now. And let's just go ahead and land right here. Since Luca's with us, let's go and uh, check in on her dad. Hey there. Hey, we got a Taban suit. Oh, great. Well, thanks. So it's been a minute since she's gotten another piece of armor. This increases your speed by one more point than, than the Tab and Vest, and it also increases her fire defensive power, as well as her regular defensive power. I think it's 46 more points than what she had, so she really needs um, that defense. But her defense is still kind of behind the rest of the gang for right now, but whatever. Okay, moving right along. Now that Chrono is not in our party, um, let's go to Chrono's house and talk to his mother. Oh, a little kitty! I think it's kind of cool, and this is just me, I think it's kind of cool how Magus is Janice, and Janice had a cat, and Magus is like, um, the villain, you know? And he likes cats. Chrono is the hero, and he is a cat, and the cat follows him around. Yeah, it's just kind of cool. Like, two sides of the same coin and all that. Oh, she wants to know if Chrono's okay, but he's not with us. Oh, well. Also, you know, Magus and Chrono, they have opposing elements, shadow and light, all that stuff. The Tent of Horrors. Oh. Yeah, I would just hear that, and I would look at this thing right here, and then I would go inside, and I'd talk to this guy. And he'd do Kefka's laugh spine tingling and I'd be like no I don't want to do this I was really 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 scared of coming in here so I never did oh really um sure I'll give this a shot um great yeah so we need to go and get more points. There's also, there, there, there's some other things that you can do in the lab when you have Chrono with you. Um, but apparently if right now they're not letting me because I have to do the, the Chrono thing. I love Gatto. I love Gatto in a stupid little song. So yeah, let's beat the crap out of you and uh, get some silver points here. At this point, we could just one shot the guy. This is the easiest way to get your silver points, as I've said before, so we need 80 of them. Probably even a little bit more to get everything done at the lab that we want to do, so I'm going to take a moment to get this done and see you in a minute. Okay, I got my silver points. Let's head on inside and let's do this! I like it was like a little clown nose there. No body or anything. I wonder if he was wearing like a green suit. Oh, really? Longest day in the game, the lower your price will be. I believe I will take the challenge. Okay. God, it really is a Chrono clone. I am so bad at this. You guys have no idea how terrible oh, it laughing is. Um, wait. Okay, you got it. No oh, surprise. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, surprise is this one. Um, oh my god, like, I am stressing the hell out right now. I hope they just- Ooh, laughing! This one? Yes! Okay, um, I hope that they just do the arms, because I just- I, I, ugh. The laughing and surprise always, like, screws me up. Surprise is this one. Uh, um, uh, and it just gets faster and faster and faster, and I'm just, like, freaking out. Ah! Hey, I got 
got it! Sweet! Man! Awesome! And I got it for free! Hell yeah! Let's see if you have uh, anything else that I can do here. Oh, yeah. So now we can actually play the normal games that you would have been able to play before. So let's go ahead and make some save states here, because this shit's ridiculous. Let's spend 10 points. Okay, Vix, Wedge, and Piet. Okay. Yeah, it's like a Final Fantasy VI. Oh, good God almighty. I've already lost which one. Um, We're making a save state. Vix, uh, you? I don't know. Oh. Well, hell, that sucks. And then you lose your silver point, so we know that it's not him. Maybe you? Man, I'm terrible at this! But honestly, I didn't even look. <laughs> I really, I didn't even look to see. Oh, did I talk to the wrong per- Where the hell is Vix? I thought I talked to this person over here in the middle. Oh, hey, sweet! No, it really wasn't. Anyway, we got a Poyozo doll to spruce up our room. Does that mean something in Japanese? I don't really know. Oh, well. Okay. Oh! The 40-point game here is the same, like, Mimic Chrono game that we've already seen, so let's check out the 80-point game. Oh. Okay. Again, I am terrible at this! Oh, God! A hostage? Let's make a save state. And poor Robo is the hostage, and he's a little baby. I feel bad for poor Robo. Okay, so just go ahead and keep on throwing these little rocks there against these guys. And then whenever the blue thing appears, go ahead and hit that, because um, Robo will get lowered into those flames real quick. It's real bad. So basically, just keep on going back and forth. You get, like, almost no... Um, oh, I actually got two of the little specchios inside the uh, cage there. So let's just stay here. That's really nice. Okay, got you, got you. Keep going. Man, this makes it really easy. Hey, we got him! Sweet! And Robo didn't even get set on fire. And for doing so, we get a kitty cat. So, if you go back there and you continue to play those games over and over and over again, you can get more cat food. And cat food can attract more cats to Chrono's house. But now we have two kitties. And it looks like Chrono's mother is away. I think that you can have up to like 11 cats there. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think that you only get this di This dialogue triggers whenever Chrono is dead and um, you have the Chrono clone doll. Oh. I feel bad for uh, the mother there. Oh, and I must have messed up my save state somewhere because there should have been a Poyozo doll right here and it acts like a little music box or whatever, but I think that as I was doing save states and whatnot um, throughout those games, I must have messed it up and saved over that save, but whatever. It's not a big deal. The Poyozo doll is stupid anyway. Okay, so we've got some kitties. We have zero ounces of cat food, so they'll starve to death. And uh, yeah, we got our... Our perfect clone of Chrono. So it looks like now we need to go to the future and see what Balthazar has to say. I mean, he said that Death Peak has the power to restore life. We also heard that Lavos sits atop Death Peak as well. But every time that we've tried to go to Death Peak, we've been blown away. There's like a blizzard or something, and we can't actually climb Death Peak. So, maybe the new can help us out with that? Well, he is. It's Chrono, for God's sakes. Oh. Okay. Oh. Whoa! 
more of these little Poyozo dolls. But they're like ice blue. Just like the ice on Death Peak. I wonder what that's going to do. Are you done executing your program? Thank you! Oh! Well, what's that? Oh, the poor little new! Yeah. So now we can choose to switch the creature off. We can say no, and it could just kind of sleep, or we could just turn it off and say yes, and... It sleeps beyond the flow of time. Because all life begins with new and ends with new. And it looks like the new's life has finally ended. I f oh, the news, my god. But yeah, now we have Death Peak. But what awaits us up there? And can we actually revive Chrono? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.